Okay, so parents out there, uh, you know that giant stack of after school activity flyers? Oh yeah. It can be a little intimidating, right? It really can. We wanted to explore some alternatives. Definitely. Some options that you might not see on those flyers. So today we're gonna dive into some alternative activities mm -hmm. that can build skills you might not even see on a report card. Exactly. And we're looking at this through the lens of an article mm -hmm. by Emily Graham over at mrmarks.com. Now, Mr. Marks is all about making math fun. They are. But today, we're focusing on skills that go way beyond academics. What I think is so interesting about Graham's approach is she takes these ordinary activities yeah. and connects them to some seriously important life skills. Take cooking classes, for example. Yeah. It's not just about making a delicious meal. Right. It's also about building patience and attention to detail. Oh, yeah, for sure. And even a sense of responsibility. Yeah. It's like sneaking in those essential skills. When you think about it, following a recipe, measuring ingredients. Right. That's early math practice without even realizing it. Absolutely. Imagine your kid learning about fractions by having a recipe. Yes. Or ratios yeah. by, you know, adjusting ingredients for more people. Exactly. And, you know, it's not just those technical skills. Right. It's also about problem solving. Like, what happens if you accidentally burn those cookies? Oh, gosh. Do you freak out? Right. Or do you try to figure out how to save them? That kind of resilience is so important. It really is. Yeah. And as a bonus, it can be a fun activity for the whole family. Oh, for sure. Get the kids comfortable in the kitchen, maybe even helping with dinner. Love that. You never know. Yeah. You might even inspire the next Master Chef Junior. Totally. And, you know, speaking of channeling all that energy. Yes. Let's talk about Debate Club. Yeah. This is a fantastic option for those kids who just love to argue. Oh, yeah. They're out there. But in a structured and productive environment, of course. Exactly. So for those kids who always have a comeback ready. Always. Debate Club gives them a place to hone that skill. Yeah. It teaches them how to think critically, how to research, mm -hmm. and how to articulate their thoughts clearly and persuasively. Which is something they'll need for so many things, like presenting a project in school or even, yes. you know, negotiating their allowance with you. Exactly. And, you know, in a world where... Everyone seems to be shouting their own opinions. Yeah. Learning how to respectfully listen to opposing viewpoints right. is so crucial. And Debate Club gives them a safe space to do just that. Absolutely. It really helps build empathy and understanding. Definitely. Now, not every kid is going to thrive in that kind of argumentative setting. Yeah. Some kids express themselves best through things like music and dance. Sure. And the, you know, those activities have a ton of benefits too. Absolutely. Music and dance are incredible for boosting those cognitive skills, mm -hmm. discipline and confidence. And let's not forget just the pure joy of it all. Yeah. That feeling of accomplishment when you nail a routine yes. or master a difficult piece of music. It's just amazing. And think about all the problem solving that goes into things like choreography oh yeah or learning an instrument it's all about breaking down a complex task mm -hmm. into smaller steps practicing and not giving up totally even when things get challenging right and those are skills that translate to any area of life speaking of self-expression yeah let's shift gears to drama club right this can be a game changer especially for those shy kids oh yeah or the ones with big imaginations. Right. It gives them a safe space to explore different characters and emotions, to step out of their comfort zone. For sure. And to build confidence by performing in front of an audience. And drama is all about developing empathy. Yeah. Trying to understand different characters. Yes. Their motivations and emotions. That's a direct path to developing social intelligence. It is. It helps kids see the world from different perspectives. Totally. Which is so important in our increasingly complex world. And who knows, maybe those drama skills will even come in handy later in life. Right. When they're adults trying to navigate those tricky work situations or relationships. So we've talked about expressing yourself on stage, mm -hmm. but what about taking it out into the real world? Yeah. Community service might not be the first thing that comes to mind mm -hmm. when you think of fun after school activities. Yeah. But hear me out. It's not just about boosting those college applications. Right. It's really about raising kids who are compassionate and engaged with their community. Yeah, I totally agree with this one. Even small acts of service mm -hmm. can have a big impact on how kids see the world. Totally. Community service can give kids a sense of ownership and purpose. Yeah. It's not just about helping other people. Sure. It's about feeling like they're making a real difference in the world. Okay, let's shift gears a bit and talk about STEM. All right. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. We hear so much about the importance of STEM fields these days. 
We do. It's easy to get caught up in all the pressure. For sure. But what we really want is for kids to see the excitement, yeah. the fun of discovery that comes with these subjects. Absolutely. And Graham really stresses the importance of the hands-on aspect here. Building robots or conducting experiments or designing video games. Yeah. Activities that really tap into that natural curiosity that kids have. Right. Things like First Lego League, where they get to build and program robots. It's amazing for seeing those problem-solving skills in action. It's all about sparking a passion, not just filling their heads with facts. Who knows that STEM class could be what leads them to becoming an engineer or a scientist. Right or even a tech innovator. Speaking of innovation, yeah, we can't forget about fostering that entrepreneurial spirit. Right. Encouraging kids to think like entrepreneurs, even in simple ways, yeah. can be so valuable. It doesn't have to be like a full-on business plan. No, right? no, definitely not. Even something small like setting up a lemonade stand yeah. or selling handmade crafts can teach them valuable lessons. Absolutely. They learn about financial literacy, Things yeah. like setting prices, yeah. managing costs, making a profit. And they also develop marketing skills, mm -hmm. figuring out how to get customers and how to present their product. Right. And they get a crash course in problem solving too. Sure. Like, what do you do when you run out of lemonade? Oh no. Or nobody wants to buy your crafts. It's real world learning at its best. And you know that boost of confidence that comes with creating something from scratch. Yeah, yeah. And seeing it succeed. Definitely. Okay, so we live in a digital age. I do. And we can't overlook the importance of computer classes. For sure. Kids today, they're digital natives, mm. but they still need some guidance yeah. on how to navigate this complex digital world. It's about going beyond just consuming technology and learning how it actually works. Right. Think of coding like learning another language like yeah. French or Spanish. Exactly. It opens up a whole new way of thinking and problem solving. And it's not just about coding. Okay. Computer classes can teach kids about digital citizenship, mm. how to stay safe online, right. and how to use technology responsibly and effectively. We've covered so much today. We have. Cooking, debate, music and dance, drama, community service, mm. STEM, entrepreneurship computer classes. Yeah. Clearly there are so many options when it comes to after school activities. There really are. And what's so great about Emily Graham's approach yeah. is how she emphasizes finding activities that your kid is actually interested in. Right. Things that match their talents. Yeah. It's not about forcing them into some box or following the crowd. Exactly. It's about letting them explore and experiment and find what really excites them. We want our kids to be engaged and excited and wanting to learn. Absolutely. And it's also about finding that balance. Yes. You know, kids need downtime and unstructured playtime mm -hmm. to just be kids. It's not about filling every single minute with structured activities. For sure. It's about finding that balance where they're learning and growing and having fun. Yeah without feeling overwhelmed. That's so important. And it's something that a lot of parents struggle with. Yeah. It's easy to fall into that trap of thinking more is always better, yeah. but sometimes less is more. Until next time, just remember, the most important thing is to encourage your child's love of learning. Yes. Their love of exploration and discovery. For sure. Whether it's cooking, coding, or making a difference in their community, mm -hmm. there's an activity out there that will light that spark yeah. and put them on a path to success and fulfillment. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, everyone. Yes, thank you. We'll see you next time for more insightful conversations and a little bit of sanity in this crazy world of parenting. 